This is what we're making today. Crab roll tofu. This is Mr. Krabby's little brother, Mr. Krabby. And unlike the original Mr. Krabby, we're not gonna boil him alive. Instead, we're gonna open up his chest with a knife and drive a steel right through his heart. If you guys haven't seen what happened to the original Mr. Krabby, check out my video on Depth's Temptation. There, you will see how I killed Mr. Krabby. Now let's watch me drive a stake through Mr. Krabby's heart. And now Mr. Krabby's dead. Now that Mr. Krabby's dead, we're gonna boil him in hot water for two minutes. After two minutes, we're gonna take Mr. Krabby out and put him into a nice bath. This will stop the cooking process. Once Mr. Krabby's all cooled down, we're gonna rip off his claws and legs one by one. While I dismember Mr. Krabby, this is where I remind you to smash that like button and hit the notification bell for new videos. And if you really like what you see, Hit the subscribe button, it's at the bottom right of your screen. Can you believe just an hour before this, I was picking this guy out of a tank? Now I'm dismembering him. Just the thought of it makes me seem so savage. Once we've picked up all the claws and legs, we're gonna break the shell off. We're gonna take out the white part and save all the juices in the shell. That's the tamale, the back fat of the crab. This is crab roll. I ordered it frozen online from Amazon. Now is it food safe to eat? I don't know, but I'm gonna add the back fat of the crab to the crab roll. Due to the travel restrictions they have here in Vancouver, I couldn't go out to the market and buy crab roll. So I had no choice but to order it online. Once we mix the back fat and crab roe, we're going to take out all the meat from its shell. Now, remember guys, we only cook this crab for 2 minutes because we're going to cook it again later. And another benefit for cooking it for a short time, even though it's a little raw, is you get whole big pieces like this. When the crab's overcooked, you see it shred and stick to the shell. As you can see, these are large pieces. These are two small blocks of soft tofu. We're gonna cut them in half horizontally and then cut them into one inch cubes. Once our tofu's all cut up, we're gonna throw it in simmering salt water. I put a quarter cup of salt into two liters of water. The reason why we're simmering this tofu is first to season it with the salted water and also by simmering this tofu for two minutes, it'll help us hold the shape. After two minutes of simmering water, we're simply going to strain the tofu. Next, we're going to make our crab roe sauce. In a wok with some oil, we're going to add in 1 tablespoon of garlic and 1 tablespoon of ginger. We're going to saute it for 30 seconds and then add in our crab roe and tamale mix. We're going to mix and simmer this for about 2 minutes. Once our sauce is reduced, we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of rice wine vinegar and 1 tablespoon of sesame oil. We're going to give this a quick mix and then add in 1 cup of water. After adding the water, we're going to bring the mixture to a boil and then add in half a cup of cornstarch slurry. Then at the same time, we're also going to add in our crab meat. We're going to give this a mix, bring it to a boil to activate the slurry, and once our sauce is thickened up, 
We're gonna season it with salt and white pepper to taste. Once we've seasoned our sauce to our liking, we're gonna add in our tofu, give it a mix, and now let's get ready to plate. I don't know why I used a spatula to plate that. It would have been a lot easier if I used the ladle to scoop it over. Anyways, it's time to eat this. And of course guys, we have to eat this with rice. Take a look at that whole crab meat. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be good. First thing I'm gonna say is that this is very crabby. If you love crab, you're gonna love the taste of this. Second thing I'm going to say is that this dish is surprisingly light. I really thought this was going to be a heavy dish because of the creamy sauce. But this is surprisingly light. This would be a good summer dish. You can definitely taste the crabbiness of this dish, but you can also taste the rice wine vinegar and the sesame oil. The rice wine vinegar really helps cut through the fat and brightens up this dish, while the sesame oil gives it that little scented flavor. Anyways, this is my version of crab roll tofu. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.